Hey and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm reviewing a coding program that completely surprised me especially because it's not talked about more often in the homeschool community. Code Monkey. If you're raising a curious STEM loving kid and want them to actually learn how to code, not just drag blocks around, this one's worth your time. Let me show you why. For those who don't know me, I'm Laura from monkeymom.com. I've been homeschooling my gifted, twice exceptional only child for the past 10 years. On my blog, I share curriculum reviews, create resources, and probably most importantly, encourage other homeschool moms to make choices that actually work for their families, not just what looks perfect on paper. Okay, before I jump into the walkthrough, let's talk about the big question going around lately. Is coding still worth teaching with the AI on the rise? Absolutely. AI can write code, sure, but kids still need to understand it. They need to know how to debug, how to structure logic, how to plan a program. Without those skills, they'll be passive users, not creators. And coding sharpens way more than tech skills. It trains the brain to think clearly, organize thoughts, and persist. We've always focused on coding and logical thinking in our homeschool. And yes, I may be a bit biased. Mark passed the AP Computer Science Principles exam in eighth grade with a four. But I've seen firsthand how learning to code shaped how he tackles problems, how he thinks through steps, and how resilient he's become across subjects. And the science backs this up. A review of 105 studies confirmed that learning to code improves creative thinking, metacognition, math skills, and problem solving. MIT research even shows that reading and writing code activates the brain areas used for complex reasoning and decision making. So no, coding isn't dead. It's brain training, not just career prep. And if you want to see the studies I mentioned, I've linked them in the blog post below. what is CodeMonkey? It's an online award-winning game-based coding platform designed for kids ages 5 through 14. It starts with block coding for the youngest users and moves all the way into text-based coding using CoffeeScript and Python. Each course is structured around mini games and puzzles that gradually build up real programming skills. What makes it different? It's fun but teaches real text coding and complex concepts. Kids learn loops, conditionals, variables, functions, even debugging, and they see the immediate results of their code. Once you sign up, you get access to everything. They currently offer three plans, and yes, they also offer a seven-day free trial, so you can test everything before committing. You will need to enter payment details, but you can cancel before the trial ends if that's not a good fit. And now let me show you exactly what we use so far and what we think about each. We explored three of CodeMonkey's main offerings. Banana Tales, which deals with Python coding, Data Science, which is about learning computer science concepts, and Game Builder, which uses a simplified language called CoffeeScript to introduce kids to text coding. Let me walk you through what each one looked like. Banana Tales was Mark's favorite. It teaches Python by having kids help a baby monkey collect bananas. Each level introduces a new coding concept and builds on the last. The split screen shows the code and the game at the same time so kids instantly see what worked and what didn't. Mark already knew Python but said this format helped him understand concepts he didn't yet grasp even if he sat through a whole AP exam this year. The challenge system also nudged him to optimize code like a real developer. For example, to get all the three stars in a challenge, he had to solve the puzzle in less than five lines or use one if loop only. Code Monkey data science course covers how to read, organize, and analyze data. This format is a bit different. It's slide-based lessons followed by interactive games. Mark flew through this but still said it was a great review. Our only complaint, there's no audio narration. It's text only which might be harder for auditory learners but overall it explains tricky abstract concepts in a very kid-friendly way. Mark said he wishes he could have learned for his AP exam in such an engaging manner. And finally the game Builder, this one had Mark building his own game using CoffeeScript. It was pure gold for practicing loops, logic, and conditional statements. Each mini lesson adds new mechanics. By the end, kids have built a playable game and gained real confidence in coding.
After trying so many coding platforms over the years, I can say with full confidence CodeMonkey stands out. It didn't just check a few boxes, it consistently delivered across everything we were looking for. It engaged Mark on a daily basis, taught real skills that stuck, and gave him room to explore, think critically, and build confidence in his abilities. It's a high quality resource and it shows. You can tell it was created by people who not only love coding, but genuinely love teaching it to kids. The balance between game-based fun and academic substance is rare. And that's exactly why it's become one of our top homeschool resources, not just for computer science, but for building transferable thinking skills that show up across subjects. So here are the main eight points we loved about Code Monkey, and honestly, I'm sure I could have found more if I kept going, but then this video would have been way too long. It's built around quality, not thrown together. This is one of the most thoughtfully designed coding platforms platforms I've come across. From the structure of the lessons to the overall user experience, it's clear CodeMonkey wasn't made in haste. The graphics, the movement, the sound effects, all of it is polished and cohesive. It feels like a real game, not an educational tool pretending to be one. Trust me, I've seen a lot of bad attempts at this and CodeMonkey's quality surprised me in the best way. Every level is a logic puzzle, and code is the only way through. Kids write real code to solve game-based challenges. Each level is essentially a mini puzzle that gradually increases in complexity. They're not just following steps, they're thinking strategically, breaking down problems, and building habits that translate far beyond the screen. Even Mark, who already knew the Python concepts, loved that he had to think through each level. It builds deep thinking, creativity, and problem solving for all kids. This isn't just for kids who want to become programmers. The kind of thinking required here, breaking big problems into small steps, noticing patterns, testing, fixing, and trying again, builds cognitive flexibility. Those are life skills. They show up in math, science, writing, decision making, and even how kids plan out their day. Coding in CodeMonkey trains those executive function muscles in a way that sticks. It's immersive. Kids learn by doing. There are no long overwhelming explanations or complex lessons dropped at the beginning. The platform introduces one concept at a time inside the gameplay and kids pick things up as they use them. That kind of discovery-based learning is how real understanding happens. Mark actually told me that CodeMonkey helped him finally understand classes, a concept he'd read about in textbooks for his exam prep but hadn't really gotten until he applied it in-game. It simulates real coding tools in a fun way. The layout uses a split screen. Code on one side, game output on the other. Kids press run, see what happens, then stop and fix bugs. That's how real coding works in tools like Visual Studio Code. Without even realizing it, kids are learning how to debug, interpret error messages, and refine their logic, which makes the jump to more advanced tools feel natural. The progression is smart. Every new challenge builds on the last. It introduces one concept at a time, then reinforces forces it across future levels. It's not just about memorizing a command once and forgetting it. The platform is designed for retention and it works. Mark had to apply older concepts in new contexts constantly, which kept things fresh and helped everything stick. It comes with detailed lesson plans. You can actually print out the entire list of coding skills covered in a course like Banana Tales. Every Python concept is broken down, explained, and mapped to a specific part of the course. So you're not guessing what your child is learning. It gave me a clear overview of the scope and progression. It's genuinely fun even for older kids. CodeMonkey officially says it's for grades K through 8 or 9, but older students can absolutely benefit from it. Mark is in ninth grade and still found it engaging and useful. We plan to continue with the rest of the Python courses once he finishes Banana Tales. Now, no program is perfect, and while we genuinely love CodeMonkey, there are a couple of areas where I'd love to see them improve. For advanced STEM kids or teens preparing for things like AP Computer Science, I really wish there were more levels. Mark already passed his AP Computer Science Principles exam and is now studying Java for AP Computer Science A. So it would have been amazing to have something like Banana Tales that went even deeper. The data science course could use audio or 
for video. Mark liked the structure and the visuals are still very much code monkey style, clean, engaging and not overwhelming. But a voiceover option or a short explainer video would really help auditory learners. If your child is curious about coding or just enjoys logic-based games, puzzles, or building things, Code Monkey is absolutely worth checking out. It's especially great for homeschool families looking for a structured, open-and-go coding program, visual learners who benefit from immediate feedback and seeing their code come to life, gifted or twice exceptional kids who crave challenge and creativity, kids who've outgrown Scratch but aren't quite ready for intimidating platforms like Visual Studio or full IDEs, parents who aren't coders themselves but want to give their kids access to real skills in a format they can work through independently and even for older students up to 9th or 10th grade who want solid review or a fun way to reinforce what they're learning elsewhere. So that's it for today. If you're curious about what we've used for coding over the years from beginner platforms to AP level prep, I'd be happy to make a full video walking through our coding journey. Just let me know in the comments if that's something you'd find helpful. We've tried quite a few resources and I've put a lot of thought into how to balance fun with academic prep. So if you're navigating similar decisions or wondering how to build up to more advanced coding, I'd love to share what's worked for us. And if you want to try CodeMonkey for yourself, I'll leave the link to their site and my blog post in the description below. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you liked it, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching and until next time, stay curious.